Hey there, good evening. This report is nearly 70 pages long, so we're still taking some time to go through it. One of the key takeaways, like you guys mentioned, DNR lists six potential crimes. One of those includes a potential felony of criminal confinement for Sean Purdy, as well as battery for Purdy and Jerry Cox. The report also lists three potential misdemeanor charges for Vox Booker, who is the black man at the center of this incident, two for battery and one for criminal trespass. A second man, Ian Watkins, is also listed with a potential crime of criminal trespass. The Monroe County Prosecutor's Office has a copy of this investigative report as well as other evidence. They are taking some time to review that and then they will decide if charges will be filed. Here are some other key takeaways. Booker and his attorney have criticized Indiana DNR for not arresting anyone the night of the incident. According to this report, the conservation officers spoke with the prosecutor's office and were advised to document all relevant info and submit a report. In this report, DNR claims there was an immediate lack of physical evidence the night of the incident. Earlier this week, the lawyer for Sean Purdy and his girlfriend Caroline McCord shared their account of what happened on July 4th. According to this report, McCord said in an interview that Vox Booker threatened them with fines, claiming he was a county commissioner and he got complaints they were screaming racial slurs at boats. McCord Ford told investigators Booker got aggressive and punched her boyfriend, Sean Purdy. Purdy is the man in the video wearing the red shirt seen holding Booker against the tree. The investigative report also claims the incident happened on public property, leased to DNR, not private property. DNR also says they spoke to Booker the day of the incident and the next day. According to this report, they had asked Booker to come in for a statement, but his attorney said her client would not be meeting with them and a second request for an interview was also denied. Reporting in Bloomington, I'm Kelly Rinke. Now back to you.